Hi, welcome to Turn Right Machine Works. My name is Keith. Uh, today we're going to work on the stainless steel rudder, and uh, we have a pattern here it's made by our customer. Uh, this gave him a, a nice mock-up, uh, something he could put in position on his new construction and really give him an eyeball and really plan out. Also, he brings it right to me, and then I can duplicate exactly what he's want right off of a pattern like this. Here's a pattern for the strut we'll be working on after the rudder. We've got an inch and a half shaft. We're going to be bullnosing the uh, end of this that's going to go into the blade and also the top of the panel bear, uh, post. Um, we're going to bullnose the end of the panel here as well. Uh, and then we'll come back in here and, uh, and cut the shape out of the blade. The blade itself uh, is pretty close to size. A little wedge cut on the top, the cutouts for each stem to fit into, the main shaft and the pedal shaft. We'll radius off the corners here and we'll drill them a hole for the sink while we have it here. First we're going to go drill uh, two round holes that will be the radius end of our cutouts. So we've got a pretty good precision layout there and it helps keep the shaft line straight in line and then we're going to stick weld the components together.
Okay, we, uh, we got this centered as far as height by the quarter inch shim under here. And we've taken and just loosely, before this was clamped, laid this against this shaft here and came over, made this one parallel with the quarter inch key stock in here off of that one and uh, it, it held it in place using a, a piece of angle here and a shim over here at exactly the same height squeezing straight down we're not rolling the shaft but we got a secure hole then we came over here on this one and holding it in here got this one straight in line with the precision straight edge we're using and then did the same clamp in there now we're going to go ahead and heli arc tack both sides of the top of the rudder and the, and the pinhole area down here and give it another tack roll it over and another tack and then we're going to stick weld this uh, because stick welding is our preferred uh, method of joining these two pieces. The weld beads are more uniform and it's a stronger hold, takes less time, and all around a better choice in, in my mind. I have Heliar fully, some rudders, and you actually create a awful amount of heat and it takes an enormous amount of time and the fish cannot tell the difference but before it gets installed the stick wall does look better Here's a look at the finished weld. Okay, now, like right, right there, you can see just a little tiny spot right there, and that's where uh, the plasma cut edge might have had just a little particle there, and it got sucked up into the weld itself. I'll take a little rotary burr and just hollow that out a little bit and then take the heliarch and fill that in. Just don't want to leave something like that for the salt water environment to get into and maybe have an electrolysis problem. Okay, we got our rudder in here and we've finished uh, doing all of our little touch ups with the heliarch and I like to check them for straightness. So I clamp this in in the three jaw chuck here. Now I know my three jaw chuck ain't you know real close, you know three, four, five thousandths or whatever run out, but it's a little bit closer than the tolerance as I asked. Now the whole exercise here is to prove that this runs in line with the, the main stem. So there's no side force and all of that. So I take, and I'll bring you in here a little closer. All right, now we're just gonna roll it. Of course, we can't uh, do 180, I mean 360 sweep, but we can get almost three quarters of the way around. That's within about an eighth of an inch. Okay, uh, we're real happy with side to side, and I take and forward and aft on this rudder here. And I'm about one sixteenth of an inch there compared to there on center. So we're going to go ahead and pull this out. I'm going to take it outside, and we're going to do uh, a similar heat straighten as we do on shafting, 
uh, to get it to go forward. Well, a little math here. Let's see. Uh, we'll just call it 32 sixteenth uh, of an inch, two thousandth per inch. And we got, let's uh, we'll just say, 18, 19. We got about uh, 36, 38 uh, thousandths. And we got to bend that shaft. We brought her in from straightening the stem uh, with the heat straightening forward and aft and uh, we got uh, 26, 27 thousands out of the 32 we wanted to try. Um, but we also, we noticed that we have a slight little curve to the blade in the middle. And we're just going to put it in a press and we're going to give it a little push in here so we can straighten that line out. I got it back in the lathe here and our forward and aft is within a, a 32nd of an inch and of course it's hard to tell because of the weight uh, hanging on each end of the blade there but you can see I mean I, with the pinky I'm not even I'm not even straining that pinky to put that in where it needs to go we got a straight rudder straight stem ready to go into the mill for the keyway